Oh, I just recorded this. It did not go well. But, okay, so, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be finding the process event index for Fortnite Season 1. I have a PDB open and the IDA open. So, in, if we go to, if we look where process event is called, since it's a virtual function, wherever it's called, it will just always be, the, it'll, yeah, it'll get called by the virtual index or whatever, virtual index, I just said vir, by the vtable index. So there's a string nearby where it's called, so we're going to look in that string, and this is call function by name with arguments, I just know that because, you know, it says it up there. But, so basically, go here, we scroll down, this I just know, it's a uh, process event, you can also kind of tell because it has um three arguments, and wait, I can't find this over right here. I don't know what's happening over here. Oh, there we go. So you can kind of just tell that it's this. That it's right, because... I can't find it on this, but... Anyway, it has three arguments. This is the object. This is the... Um, function, and these are the params. So if we look at this, you might have to right-click and convert to hexadecimal. This is the offset. This isn't the actual offset that you want to use, though. Um, what's it called? This is, I don't really know what to, to call this, but this is the index from us, from the vtable, I guess. So basically, we need to find the vtable. And vtables are in the constructors. So if we just go to the, this constructor for u-object, since it's process run as a u-object function, we can see a string right here, because we got to find this v-table. So we go to here, and then you click G, and paste that in to find the string. So it's just searching in the window and having to generate it. So if we look at this, I already named it because I did this before, but it wouldn't be named, but it would be right here. So if you click it, um, you're going to see the address, and then what you got to do is open up a calculator, make sure that it's in hex, or programmer, or whatever, right, and then you paste in the address, you do plus, and then whatever you got in subline, I mean, whatever you got earlier, don't use the OX, though, so you get this, and then you go back to IDA, and then press G again, put that, and then you remove the spaces, and then you're there. It's this line. You found it to make sure that it's right. So it's definitely right. And then to actually get the offset that you would use in your code, what you got to do is you got to take this and then you got to go to, you got to clear it all. You paste it in here and then you divide it by eight. And then you got it. Wait. Yes, I think that's right. Oh, let me make sure. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, that's it. Um, that's the index.